The genius of engineering is that you can even apply it to understanding the mechanics of the human body. I met with Dr. Joe Prinold, a biomechanical engineer, to hear how his work could help children with arthritis. My research is looking at trying to improve the way that we treat arthritis in children's ankles. Arthritis is a swelling of the joint which causes pain. The longer you have it, it, it gets worse and it causes more damage and more pain. I'm trying to understand why the disease progresses in different ways. In some kids, the disease is very bad and gets much worse and causes lots of damage. And in some, it goes away very quickly. The main part of my work is to create uh, computer models of children with arthritis. The difference between children's bones, or children's ankles, and adults' ankles uh, is the, the formation of the bones. So in an adult's ankle, all the bones are completely solid. In a child's ankle, lots of the bone is actually cartilage, so the bone hasn't yet formed properly. So you would get something called a growth plate, which would be a, a layer of cartilage here, which would separate the bone. So even in children of, say, 10, 11 years old, you have large parts of the bone which are, which are cartilage. Bone is a rigid structure, so you have an outer layer, which is very hard, and then you have an inner layer, which is a softer, spongy material. Now, cartilage is like a gelatinous substance, so it's, it's like what's in your ear, so your ear is made up entirely of cartilage, and also the end of your nose as well is cartilage. The skeletal system is made up mostly of two parts, so the bone and then the muscles. So this is a model of a, an adult knee. So you can see here this is the bone and then this is a muscle. So the bone acts like the frame. So if you're standing, a lot of the load will go through the bones. So the bones are supporting the structure. And the muscles act like, uh, like a pulley, so like a rope. So if you contract your muscle, say on your knee, then that would pull the bone and make you move. My models are used to predict the forces that we see in the joints. We can make children run, jump, dance. The forces that we get in the joints, we think might be related to how arthritis progresses. What I hope that my research will provide uh, is a better understanding of arthritis and hopefully that will improve the speed at which people are treated uh, and also how effective the treatment is. What I really love about being an engineer is that we get to apply our knowledge to practical problems so we get to see things being put into action. Biomechanical Engineering Ingenious